Hello everybody, Fixer here. Welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. So before we continue, I have to say that I cheated a little bit. I rewound my last episode because apparently I made errors with the, the garbage bin. So I rewound it and replayed it, and, and here's a little secret that a lot of YouTubers won't let you know. When games give you the ability to kind of like save on a per episode basis, it's usually a wise decision to do so. Because you never know when you need to start over again. So, that is a common practice I and many other YouTubers have. Each save gets its, or each episode gets its own save, in case you need to go back to it. So that's what I do. And it bailed me out here. I went back. I did everything I did in the previous episode. Um, and I think I'm ready to continue on. One thing I did discover was let's hop over to um oh my god what's his name antonio reyes whatever agent reyes see i got all my stuff back one thing i discovered is that there are multiple specks of dust i found another one and there's another one there and now i feel like i ought to it's be find more right if there's, if there's two, then maybe there's three. If there's three, maybe there's four. I don't see one there, though. Oh, whoa. Oh. And I can't go in any of those. And I can't go... Oh, the bus station. No one is in there. Did I try going here last episode? Excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. Oh, man, he just came right out and said it. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. <laughs> I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch. Of the Whoa. famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. Well then, do you know anything about the body? Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Shouldn't we be talking on an official level then? What the hell? She knows something? Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. That's not how this works. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She what? abandoned our family and the business to become a... Um, uh, well, pirate. No, 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 no. It was far worse. Oh. She became... A video game developer. Of course. It all started a few years back. Oh, look at that. I got another... She only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. <laughs> Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Wonderful. I have a journal. She has a journal. Dolores, Dolores' list of important things. Find an ideal job. Check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Escape from Thimbleweed Park. Oh my god. Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie. Hot from the oven. Not anymore. Uncle Chuck does love Ricky's pies. He loves pie with coffee. All right, well, let's go right to the computer. It's then. my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. I had that almost to a T. I didn't have the modem, but I had the rest. 
Max was the world's first computer-generated TV host. Someday we'll have one for real. That's Max Hedrum. It's Lurleen, my pet chinchilla stuffy. Dad gave it to me when I was three years old. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice every day. Got a printer and everything. We'll check that out in a second. Action figures. I should check the mailbox. For These are part of my action figure collection. Well, what kind? These are my Anne of Green Gables books. Maybe someday they'll do a TV show. This is my complete set of Nancy Drew mysteries. I'm kind of a fan. I... These are my Kirk's box slash fiction books. I'm a believer. How many are there? This is my complete set okay. of Nancy. I think Revenge of the Jedi was a much better name. <laughs> Jedi's don't get revenge, you silly goose. You're a rebel, Billy. Yes, he is. Albert's my hero. All right. Before we go out there, oh, uh, well, walk to bed. I like to keep my bed made. Never know who might walk into my room. Oh. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman's School of Mathematics. It's made out of solid pewter, except for the infinity symbol, which is pure titanium. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. I could take a hint. Kinda. These are part of my action figure collection, including my prized Howard the Duck. Oh boy, Howard the Duck. That was actually a, a, a Lucasfilm movie, believe it or not. And it was a very creepy one, too. It's a red gel decoder. Walk to Susie Boy's red gel decoder. These are part of my action figure collection. This section includes the complete history of mucus phlegm, the pointed history of point-and-click graphic adventures, and walkthroughs for all mucus phlegm games. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. I know! These are my Chronicle of Narnia and Hitchhiker's Trilogy. I love my books. This is my complete set of Tolkien books, including three pristine sets of Lord of the Rings, The Adventures of Tom Bombadil, The Cimmerillion, just to start. I reread them from time to time. Lovely. All right, we can go now. Holy cow, this place has got lots of doors. What just happened? Um... Okay. Ouch! No pinching. <laughs> Great. How do I get back? Alright, well, let's go this way. There we go. I still get lost after all these years. You don't say. Oh, excuse me. Just have to keep going. All right, well, there we are. We're back to here. Just down the hall is the big staircase. I, that was, I didn't have to do any of that. Hilarious. What's this place? Holy cow. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. Oh my god, there's books everywhere. Oh my god. Where was that? The Epic Tale of Moxie? Luminator, Growing Up Skating. Oh, holy cow. Can I not go further in there? I guess no. Oh, I can. Oh my god. It says, out of order. The sign says it's out of order. Holy cow, do each one of these have a name? And are they in alphabetical order? The job interview with a vampire. They couldn't even spell out with. Did they run out of space? 2.6. That's because it's the Dewey Decimal. Or the Spewy Decimal. Holy cow. Yeah. I'm going to have to look something up. more books. Can I go up here? Ooh. Oh! Most of the books in the library were written by our backers and supporters. They assume all responsibility for their content. Oh, there you go. How did I find that? I don't know. So that's where they got all of them. They got, they got to... Oh, 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 there was an, the, uh, the picture of Edna. 
Maniac Mansion reference, perhaps? So that's how they got so many of them. They're all made by backers. Can I, can I, um, talk to this? This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog I know. books. Talk to it. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. Oh, well, I guess I can't talk to that one. Oh my god, more doors. Can I go down here? Yeah, this is this is a little bit of a problem, having this blocking me down here. I don't want to go in that door yet. Fireplace? All right, let's go here. The fireplace looks very clean. It does indeed. Dare I go in here? Oh! There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. What do you mean there's nothing inside? It's an empty glass. Pick it up. Nothing inside my There's ass. nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. Hello, walk the can of non-trademark infringing poopsie. Nice. I got some poopsie. I got some batteries. Got some cheese. I should be looking at these. Pretty wilted. Who knows how long this has been in here. What is that noise? What a mess. Someone could cut themselves on those bottles. Carefully handling broken glass. If this were a Sierra online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now. <laughs> But those Mucus Flam adventure games treat their players much better. Damn. No arbitrary deaths just to extend gameplay. Sure would like to work there. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. Okay. Um. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Looks good enough for a snack. There are a couple of old batteries. I think I see mold growing on one. It's a can of poopsie. Right. Okay, what else we got? There's nothing inside. I don't trust you when you say Pretty that. Pretty clean, considering. It's an empty glass. The glass is now filled with water. Hooray! I got a glass full of water. I don't know what I want to do with There's it. There's nothing. There's nothing inside. Can I go that way? No. Stove? No. I gotta leave the I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Settle down. Oh, you know what? I don't have a live animal on me. Eventually, we're going to be putting an animal in this microwave. I'm calling it right now. Just like you could in Maniac Mansion. Only Razor could, though. If not that microwave, a different one. This clock looks vaguely familiar. This clock looks vaguely familiar. I don't know why it Maybe does. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay. Mailbox is probably out here. Holy cow. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not going to make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. You stand a little too close to people there, guy. Um, open this up. Nothing? Oh, I can go to the left and the right. I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. <laughs> the mansion mansion. I can't leave I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. Alright, let's get going there. Wait. Did I that was the kitchen. Never mind. I bet you uh, those doors there's probably a certain way, a certain order I have to go through all of them. And that'll get me into someplace special, I would think. You know, I never touched the Printron, did I? It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. It's back there. It's back there. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Oh! Do you have what it takes to become a highly paid game programmer? Mucus Flem Games, the makers of hit games Three Lines of Haze and Behind Jaggy Lines. 
is looking for qualified applicants. Just complete and mail in this comprehensive programming test, and you could be on your way to an exciting and highly profitable career in computer game development as a mucus... a uh, mucuslet game programmer? Hmm. Imagine the perks. Long hours. Non-diet soda and pizza. Work with people who don't want to get to know you either. Out-of-date arcade machines in the rec area. Watch your parent company's profits grow. Apply today. Use your computer to connect with mucus phlegm to apply. Is this is this it? Okay. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Phlegm Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true! I'm going to apply! Interesting. There's a modem number to call. I didn't see it. Dial with a modem and fill out Mucus Phlegm. Mail filled out. Jab application. Okay. Where was the number? And wait a minute, is that a doorbell? Wow, an ad for a job at Mucus Flemings. That was a doorbell, wasn't it? My favorite game company. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. That was a doorbell. Hmm, there's a mo. Just down the hall. Is it part of the music, or was that like an actual thing? Okay, it sounds like a thing. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. Uh oh He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. Well, you know what we're going to do. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. Open it. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Damn it. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. Damn it. That may be... There might be another way to open it, though. Um, hold on. No. Go up, up, up. Let's get on our computer. Nope, I don't want to do that. Wait a minute. I thought I, I thought I could go to the other guys. I can't. All right. So there was some kind of number in here. Am I crazy, or or is it? Is it? Wow! And after yeah, you don't need to tell me again. Of, it's my state of the art Commodore Use. 64. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. There we go. And yes. It's connecting. You did have to dial directly. I can't believe my computer is connected to Mucus Phlegm. Welcome to the new online Mucus Phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple Mucus programming questions. Oh no! Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. Uh -oh. What is your name? Um, Dolores Edmund. Is it A or Annie? I don't remember them saying Annie. Thank you. What is your address? Um... <laughs> well... Um... Oh! So this will give us a hint here as to where we're at. Wyoming, Washington, West Virginia, or Wisconsin. Interesting. I don't know what state they're in. So I don't know if there's a wrong answer here or if this is, you know, the, the new wave of point-and-click adventure games where you forge your own story. I think that this is in Wisconsin. Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. English. God damn it. All the above? I'm Very lying. ambitious. We like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. What? First question. What is the total number of sounds that can be defined for a game? I have no idea. Um, pause application? I would guess it's... it's... Is this referring to the scum engine, or what? Because obviously you would think it would be unlimited, but I'm afraid that this is going to be scum engine related. Holy shit. Um... Well, I have to do all this over again. I have a feeling I will. Pause application. It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I need to go find a book about mucus programming. Okay. 
Oh, well, oh my god, don't tell me I gotta do this for each one of them. Oh no, don't tell me I have to. And hold on, I'm getting my pen and paper ready. Oh, game paused. Didn't mean to do that. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It, hmm, it says there's a book on mucus here. Good. It's in section 3.1. Okay. I didn't mean to do that again. I don't know how I did it, but whatever. The sign says it's out of order. Where's 3.1? I feel like I have to go upstairs. The sign says it's out of order. It says out of order. No one will miss this out of order sign. Thank you. Now we can go up. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. <laughs> Haven't been up here for a long time. That's fantastic. All right. Three, ooh. Oh, that's kind of creepy. What the shit? That's my grandmother, Edith, and her second husband, Charles. I really admire them. 3.5, 3.6. All right, so the book's going to be over here. That's my great grandfather, Edmund Edmund, who was a great industrialist. That's my great-great-grandmother, Lady Edwina. That's my Scottish great-great-great-grandfather, Edgar the Dragon Slayer. Oh my god, hold on! Oh my god, the art of coding. I need music. Simple basic. Oh man, I don't- I, I should have written the, the damn- <laughs> F programmer's manual. I don't know which one I need. All right, let's click on anything. No. No. Toilet. Wait, what was that one? Thimbleweed 64. There's another future of programming. All right. Microcomputer programming. Ha! Oh, for the love of God. The following book is proprietary and confidential. Any unauthorized reproduction, blah, blah, blah. 86, Mucus Flam, blah, blah, blah. It's the greatest adventure game scripting language ever created. Yeah, M. Mucus. Uh, it was first used in a revolutionary game, Maniac Mansion. It's a cooperative monetizing language. Mucus allows up to 256 lo room local variables. All right, I'm writing this shit down. 256. We have... Eight parameters. God damn it, game. Um, the mucus source level debuggers run on a separate monitor. Okay, do I need to know that? Why don't I just screenshot this? What am I doing? We have the technology. Hold on a second. Um, I don't think I, I'll have a problem opening this up. That shouldn't slow me down, I don't think. I can't believe I'm doing this. All right. And... Oh no, it's not working! Hold on. Oh no, it's not working. Alright, that's a pain in the butt. I am I, I am not wanting to do all this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to go over into... That. And... Screenshots, upload screenshots. There, no? Yep, that's what I'm looking for. Fantastic. You have guys had time to read all of these now. Oh, up to 256 sounds can be defined for each game, so that's different. Is this it? Is this all I got? Okay, good. Alright, let's look at the other things and then we'll head back. That's Uncle Chuck as a young man, with robots on his mind even then. Alright, let's get out of here. Glad I didn't have to write all that down. It's no longer 1987. Go up. Meanwhile, I am racking up the phone bill with this uh, call over to the, the mucus phlegm. Yes, that did rack up your phone bill. 
It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64. Use with it! dual 1541 floppy drive what? and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Please oh. answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Sure thing, First boss. question, what is the total number of sounds that can be defined for a game? Bam! Next question. Oh, I got the hiccups. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. Um... Yes, right? Next question. What are room backgrounds compressed into? Hold on, slow down. What we got here? Um... Character sets. Next question. When a game ships, it is encrypted using... XOR! Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. I'm a pro. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm programming test. No shit. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Print. Okay, let's, um, pick it up. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. Of course it is. Do I need to put something in it? Like, poopsie? It's a can of poopsie. Hold on. I don't feel like the taste for non-trained... Dial in with a modem and fill out mucus... F yeah, yeah, okay. So... What does it take for ink? Computer, computer... Oh, I, I, I clicked on Ada, the... Ada, you're my role model. Too bad you don't program games, though. All right. Lettuce. What, what the hell? I gotta make ink or something, don't I? Flask of extreme... Ch I didn't... <laughs> what? What did I just do? Wow. What the shit did I just do? Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna break the printer. Obviously, I gotta burn something, right? Still impressive. Um. Looks good enough for a snack. I got a pie. I don't have time to eat pie right now. Oh, oh, snack. That hit the oh, spot. Oh, cheese is gone. <laughs> Hold on a second. Is it gonna be different if I uh? Still impressive. <laughs> what is this game? Broken bottles of ketchup. All right, how am I gonna do ink? It's Uncle Chuck's new invention. Does it say in here? Doesn't say anything in here. Get a job. All right. Holy cow. What else is in here? I want to go to the kitchen. Just down the hall is the big. Is there anything in the kitchen that I forgot about? Go ahead. Um... Use... Aha! I don't think they're good for anything. Except growing mold. I don't have time to eat pie right I don't feel like the taste for not- Oh, I didn't mean to use it like that. There's gotta be something I put in the microwave, right? Still impressive. Ugh, I'm definitely not hungry for soggy lettuce. That doesn't seem to work. I don't want to put it in there. Interesting, I can use the blank paper. Interesting. I think I'll just be careful with... No. The application is all filled out. Just have to send it in. I don't have time. I don't feel like the taste for not... I don't think they're good for anything. All except right. growing mold. How about we... I'm not sure what that's doing, other than heating the water, obviously. Walk, walk to glass of water. I can't push that. That did nothing. There's gotta be... See how it's off to the side? That tells me there's gotta be something else that goes in there, right? 
batteries. I got nothing that requires batteries. Sink, faucet. Wait a minute. It is interesting that sink is a separate thing from it's faucet. It's pouring out water. Why is the sink separate? Also, were there any specks of dust? Hmm. I'm convinced that I gotta put something in here. Oh, that's right! I can. Oh! Shit! I, I put some moisture in there and then I can tear it off off the, the letter without it looking ripped. Holy shit. Pick up. I don't want to pick that up. I don't want to pick that up. Well, don't pick up the... Oh, open it first. Um, open. It's a couple of uncancelled stamps. Still sticky. That's all I get? Hey, Chucky Baby, what the beep is holding up the toy licensing contract? <laughs> Your brother Franklin said this was a done deal, so I thought I'd write to the big guy himself and get this thing moving forward. My beeping comeback is going to be beeping huge, and making some dolls will be... <laughs> Like printing beeping money. Beep off. Ransom. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright. Now, that didn't get me closer to my ink, though. Um. This clock looks vaguely familiar. That doesn't seem to work. I was going to use a sign on that. Hold on. Well, no, there's probably nothing outside. Um. I'm getting a little long on the episode, I think. So I might it's have... It's the archway leading to the second floor hallway. It's the archway... Yeah, we'll go. Go, go, go. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention. The Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. Yes, yes, yes. Use it with what? I can't use that in the Printron 3000. 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 There! The blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. Alright, but there's no ink, right? I can't use that in the Printron 3. I can't use that in the Printron 3. I can't use that. Yeah, that tells me that I have to have another object. I'm missing an object. Math trophy. Hold on. Oh, how did I get back there? That was not what I wanted to do. Still impressive. All right, come back out here. I'm I'm certain that I gotta melt something with this. Did I melt anything? Still impressive. No. No, that went behind. All right, well... Still impressive. I know, you're breathing fire all over the place. Hold on. Still impressive. Can I pick up any of these? I don't want to pick that up. 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 All right. I like to keep my bed made. Never know who might walk into my room. Stamps. I gotta breathe fire on something. It's gotta be something. Just down the hall. Right, right. Um. Let's go in there. There's nothing to breathe fire on in here. I think I've. I. I, I don't. I think I've used up. Everything that there is to be done in the kitchen. I don't think I need to go in the... Hello! This is new. There's also a gas can over there. Sounds like something... Digging. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Okay. Well, let's go blow up this gas can. It's a gas can. Don't it is indeed. Don't get your hopes up, though. Um, here we go. Digging! 
Dig it. I don't think I can light up the entire wood pile. Too much mass. It's very dry firewood. Oh shit, son! I know what I gotta do now. Oh, hold on. Back out there. Can I grab that gas can too? What is he doing? He's in a different spot. All right. Dig in. So obviously I need to do this. Go f faster there. All right. Let's use this and there. Use this and there. This log should burn really well now. And as you know, never use accelerants. Uh, use this. And let's see how this works. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell? Nice warm fire. I think I'll just be careful. I don't feel like I don't think they're good for anything. I want to use the batteries in there. So what does this fire get me now that I've got this? That doesn't seem to work. No, I don't want to do that. Whoa! <laughs> oh! Oh! Holy shit! See? Oh, and this is my ink! This is my ink! Um, pick up. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. Oh, shit, son. Look at that. Okay, okay. Soot. Obviously, you don't put... Okay, okay. Hold on. I was wrong about the kitchen, I think. The glass is now filled with water. That would just make a mess. No, it wouldn't! This is perfect! Uh... That would just make a sludgy mess. Um... No, can I... It's a glass filled with water. That would just make a sludgy mess. Yes, but, but we need to make it a liquid. That would make a black, sticky mess. If I'd better not mix water with that well, chainsaw gas. Who kn that would make a black, sticky mess. Chainsaw gas? If only I had something small to mix it in. Like a glass. I'd better not mix water with that chainsaw gas. Who knows what could happen? Okay, so I need to get rid of the water again. So does that mean I need another log? The sky. I already got enough firewood. Do I? But I, I need I need to get rid of this water. Can I? Can I? I want I want to drink it. Maybe use water on this. It's not my job to clean out the fireplace. No, but that's what I want to do. Better not. That might start a fire. All right. Well, I I, I gotta call it a day there because this episode's already getting long. Uh... But I have to think about it for next episode. Until then, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you. Bye bye.